since I ordered this from eBay, it came in this lovely box. I thought it would come in its official Games Workshop box, but my expectations were far too high, so let's open it. There we go. Ah, yes. All right then, make sure I haven't damaged any of the pieces. And yeah, this is what we're left with. Okay, so yeah, we are reviewing this. Uh, well, not reviewing the box, get out of here. We're gonna be reviewing this. So yeah, I'll run you through the process quick. And then I'll show you it when it's done, and then we can get into the full and thoughts and stuff of the model. See quite clearly, um, the guy that sent this to me didn't really cut them very well from the sprues, but that's probably just because he didn't want to damage the actual thing, so I wouldn't give him a bad review on eBay. So we're just going to have to chip off all that, maybe remove some mold lines. Okay, mold lines. Yep, so we're probably going to have to do that, and then, yeah, the model's going to be built. I'm going to have my thoughts on it. That was about 50 minutes of unnecessary time that was spent because the man that sent it to me seemed to have forgot the instructions, so I had to work out where everything was meant to go by myself, which was aggravating, to say the least. The positives of the model being this... Freddy Krueger hand, I love the look of the Freddy Krueger hand, it's amazing, I love it, I've got no negatives about the Krueger hand, and the other two hands, I like nearly as much, um, I'm not a big fan of the look of the Gorse Cannon, I think it looks alright, but, you know, um, it is a Gorse Cannon, so there's not much you can do to change the look of them, and some of you may, some of you may say, Oh, why didn't you drill the gun barrels out? First of all, I don't have a drill that's small enough to do that. And also, gorse weapons do not have barrels. The sword is alright. I mean, it's just a face sword. Looks alright. Um, what else? I love the three-legged look. Very nice. I like the cables. I always like cables on things. But, a negative would be... What the fuck is that? I've tried everything. I've tried forcing them together. I've tried sanding it a little bit, but these just don't connect together. They just don't connect. So if I just so if anybody I'm playing on tabletop, if anybody sees the model from the back, they're instantly gonna see this, this split shoulder joint, which just looks awful. I mean I like the look of it, but I don't like the look of it split. It's just it just looks... I don't know why they wouldn't make one that could connect, you know? And another negative, it's a very small one, but... What's this? I've tried to look everywhere where to put this thing, but since I don't have instructions, I don't know where I'm meant to put it. So it's just a useless bit. Why include useless bits? Okay. And also, the head. Why is it so small? Like, I know it's meant to look small, because it's meant to be big body, small head. But just make the head a bit bigger, so it at least fills up the spaces. And my biggest gripe with this model would be the size comparison. It's it's quite small. It's like half of a great and clean one tall. I would say about a third of a titan tall, and adept is titanicus titan, mind you. So that's like the size of an Imperial Knight, so it's not really that big. I'd say it's about, I don't know, what is it, one and a half, maybe, at a stretch Terminator's tool? In the 9th edition promotional trailer, I mean the CGI one, not the Indomitus reveal, it was like, it was like, I don't know, three Space Marine, three, four Space Marines, and these are Primaris Space Marines as well, so they're like a foot taller than the average one. This one should be huge. I was under the assumption it was like a, an Imperial Knight standing for the, for the, what is it, for the Necrons. But no, it's 
I think it's probably a Dreadnought stand-in. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but ignoring all the negatives, because it sounds like I've got a lot, I actually really like this model. I can always do some things to fix it, like add some cloth over it, like, you know, add my own stuff to it to make it look unique. But yeah, if you're wondering why I haven't painted it, it's because I didn't want to mask up any of the um, bullshit, if there was any, like mold lines with paint. But yeah, other than that, I like it. If you want to see it fin when it's finished and painted, go and follow me on Instagram, and I've actually got Twitter now, so... Go and follow me there as well, I'll be posting it on both, okay? Hope you enjoyed, I'll be uploading as soon as I can next time. And yeah, hope you enjoyed, goodbye. Disclaimer, I found the use for the little thing, it's meant to be tip of the gorse cannon. I'm a mong.